All right, so first of all, sorry, I've been gone a while. I took a longer break than I usually do in between updates, and then when I actually started working on it, uh, I ended up reworking a bunch of existing code that I had already made in order to get new features to work, and then chasing down a bunch of bugs. Some of them took me forever, and just in general, I added a lot more than I thought I was going to. Here's the change log. As you can see, I added quite a bit, or at least changed quite a bit. Here's uh, the last update, just to, you know, if for comparison. Uh, I'll scroll through this slowly if anybody wants to read it. But anyway, moving on. So the file monitor uh, now can display uh, text files. So you can see it's prompting me to if I want to monitor a file or a directory. So let's do a file, and then let's get this file path here, and then paste that in there, and then we'll do my log file. This is where all the errors when this is running go. Just dumps it into a text file here. Uh, let's go ahead and update that. If we go into here and we type hello world and then we save that see it shows up here uh, also if you notice it doesn't prompt me to set up three monitors right out of the gate like it did before so now if I hit N now it will prompt me for another one and I think I can add 10 right now now that I'm thinking about it I should add the ability to, to display a directory tree as well that might get too long to list them all without it scrolling though Anyway, uh, so let's go ahead and do a uh, directory, and then let's get the directory path, and let's do mem. Uh, there really should be a spacer between these, but see all this junk in here? I'll show you why I loaded this up in a second. Uh, before we get to that, let's uh, do... So everything is now a lot more aligned. This was just a little pet peeve of mine. I, I noticed I've noticed for a while now. So here's 1.16, the last version I showed off. You can see this logo here wasn't quite centered, and then the rest of this was centered based off of the logo. And then if you actually go in, well, this one doesn't look too bad, but this splash text here is actually centered, whereas everything else is not. Uh, but now, everything just lines up right, right there in the center where it should be. Uh, moving on. Uh, let's go to the map tool real quick. Uh, so, uh, you might notice I've renamed it to Anvil. Uh, with Anvil, I want to add a bunch of development tools for stuff, but right now it's just a file monitor. Spin that up. You can see I have a fancy splash screen now. Uh, not a whole lot's different. Uh, I have like guidelines to show where the center is, but other than that, it's pretty much what I showed off last time. But uh, it does prompt for a map ID. That's a new thing that I added. It's some internal code stuff. Don't worry about it. For now, we'll just do 000. And then the block name. The block name shows up in the title bar. Uh, it does... It says like the name of the game and then like the current region you're in and then other information if you're in debug mode, whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll just do A1. And then the that dumps a file into this map dev folder. And then if we go into 000, this is working code. I can actually use this on like the last time I showed it off. Um we'll see what else we got. Oh, yeah, right, why I made that file monitor. So this is displaying the contents of the mem folder, and you can see I have this junk.txt folder here. Uh, if I actually boot this up, and then now when I hit new, well, I was showing it in real time, but you can see it deleted that. It actually deleted all these folders, too, and replaced them with completely blank ones. So now, when you hit new, it actually clears the contents of the mem folder, 
before, whenever I was testing things, I would have to make sure and I go in and clear all the triggers and all the scene data and stuff to make sure I'm starting with a new thing. It's a really easy fix. I don't know why I hadn't done that until now, but now that works. I think we're done with that now. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. So, let's uh, bring up our well, this is, yeah, version 16 here, and then if you notice, see how fast my character moves across the screen? I said I reworked a ton of internal code. Uh, I completely reworked that and got a noticeable speed increase from it. You may also notice that this says tree now and before it didn't. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done with the 1.16. Uh, here, let's... Me. Well, I'll just go in here real quick, uh, and then I will open up my console. There's a new console command. Where is it? Pick up. Here we go. Adds an item to my inventory. So let's go ahead. Wow. Pick up. Be a buy-in. And here's a list of every item that I have currently. Not much. All of these really are just for testing. Uh, and let's go ahead and take the pack of cigs. I don't know why I use this for testing, but currently it's the only item that this works with. And now it prompts, how many do you want? I now support, have, or I can now have multiple of the same item. So let's just take 50, sure, why not? Probably a lot, but whatever. Then if we go into the menu and then inventory, and we select the SIGs, first of all, there's a use option. I'll show you that in a minute, but for now, uh, go ahead and drop, and it prompts me how many I want to drop. So let's just drop 10, and then if we, oops, back, and close, there they are on the ground. Oh, here, let me, just, just to show, it does show 40 there, and then if we take the ones on the ground, like we do, yes. Right now it just takes the whole stack, but if we go into the inventory, see we're back up to 50 again. Oh, here, actually, let's go ahead and uh, SIGs and then drop. Doesn't matter. Uh, another thing I uh, wanted to show off before I got sidetracked with this is if I go south and then exit, and then we go back in, you can see the SIGs are still on the ground. Before, every time I loaded into a scene, it would create a new version of it. Now it actually remembers all the things that you did before. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, the use command, duh. So, let's uh, do console pickup, and then key. We only need one. Back and then north. I can type it right. You see, we have a door now. The door is locked and it won't let me in. But we go into the inventory and then we use the key, and use the use option, prompt me use on what. Uh, this is actually a dynamically generated list of every interactable object in the scene right now. So right now it's just the door, so it's Go ahead and use it on that. I unlock the door. Now if we go into the door, it'll actually let me through. Uh I think we just look over my notes real quick. I think I only have one other thing to show. Yeah. Let's go back and south and then exit. I'll show you why this says tree, because now, if we go over here, you see I have another scene. This one says grid. This one's made using a completely different format than the other one. Uh, the old format, which I was calling the tree format, looks like this. Uh, it's literally just a directory tree. So here's like the main room, and if we go like north, Here's the room with the door, for example. And then I just have various things, like this just has room data, and then this 
like this is the block of text it echoes or whatever at the top um, this new format which is one here so this is actually the main room and then when I move I think if I move to the right or uh, I guess east uh, it'll go to zero one so you move around uh, using coordinates like how the world map does like this here instead of going through an actual directory tree the reason I did that is because the directory tree uh, the problem with that is how let's say you wanted to make like a map that's like a 3x3 three three grid or something you'd have to create shortcuts to all of the other rooms like adjacent to or you know what I'm saying like you, every room has to be chained off of another one and then you have to use shortcuts to jump around and it would just be a nightmare to do so anyway I'll show you here uh, all the block headers to say uh, the room number just for testing these are actually automatically generated by they look to see if there's let's say, uh, if you, like east for example right now we're in zero zero it checks to see if there's a zero one folder and if there is it'll display east right now I don't have much it's just a big circle basically the back command does work uh, and then I can still have the same interactable items it still displays a block of text all that stuff still works but uh yeah I think that's everything yeah well anyway that's all I got bye